wonder if I can get the squirrel wrangler to wrangle the card for me. <coughs> yes. oh. oh, thank you. She's not a squirrel wrangler. She has the card. Okay. Still Strange Love Live. I'm still Kami Chaos, but now I'm joined by Michael Krupa. Did I say it right? That's right. And how can we find you on the internet and on Twitter? You can find me at Twitter at PDXMikeK. And I have a, a tech blog at uh, infoboxinc.com. And you're you're from you're working at Charles Schwab. I work at Charles Schwab. And I know that because the very first question is <laughs> why would a Schwab person be at OS Bridge? That's a good question. That why? That's a good question. Surprisingly enough, uh, I am the technical director for the human resource systems, and all of my servers run Linux, and we have a lot of open source software that we use. Surprisingly enough. Who made that decision? Who? Uh, you know, that's a. It seems an interesting way to go for a big company. Mm -hmm. And how did that come to? How did that happen? Schwab made a decision uh, years ago. Well, not years ago, but several years ago to to uh, cut down their costs for all their servers. So we've been working on a multi-year plan to move all of our proprietary or um, non-open source OSs over to Linux to uh, save money, move to commodity hardware and Linux. Very Save great. lots and lots of money. So are you here? Let me see your pass. Oh, you didn't even have a little white ribbon on I there. You, you need to on. get a ribbon I so you can put something. Like I don't know what you can put on it, but you need a ribbon <laughs> to put something on. So are you here uh, in a learning capacity, here to see more what's going on? Exactly. See if there's anything that I can take back, any any best practices or things that I can, that I can take back to work. Have you learned anything good yet? I have learned some good stuff about virtualization. We do a lot of um, development on Linux, so very cool. It'll be good to see if we can use some of that. Okay, we're going to move away from the Schwab side now, and cool. we're going to. I'm I'm going out of order. I see now why. <laughs> I see why Verso would not let me have this card. <laughs> it's something I knew about you, but I didn't think we would be discussing. You have not yet had a Whippy's pie. I have not yet had a Whippy's pie. <laughs> You're a Whippy surgeon. <laughs> I am. Are there any plans in the near future to go and, and take care of that? Hopefully soon. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully soon. I recommend the lemon pie. I'm wondering if anyone... <gasps> I love lemon. Oh, God, it's so good. <laughs> it's That's my so favorite. Good. I wouldn't have even had a pie if they didn't have... I'm not a big pie eater. I like very specific kinds of pie. So I'm very excited for the pie off that's coming this summer because they'll have something fantastic. But lemon pie is my one true weakness. And... It's a good pie, but then they have the whole pie off, or no, the, the pie champ thing, the pie champ thing, and then I watch it, and I'm kind of, then I don't feel the need to eat pie anymore. Watching someone consume seven pies yeah. is a difficult thing to do. That's a lot of pies to watch. It is, and watching like several people consume that many pies is a, it's a difficult, I had to leave and go have a drink. <laughs> I couldn't sit there and watch them consume pie after pie. Actually, we have one of the pie contestants sitting back there behind the board. Um, hey, I'm just curious, what what's your favorite pie at Whiffy's name? Oh, it's the only pie I've ever had. Oh, the, Meat the, pie. the brisket? Meat pie. Yeah. yeah, the Barbecue, brisket. Actually. Barbecue. <laughs> that was a good pie. I think Dr. Normal had one of those pies. He was meaty. Yeah. Dense. So you, that's the only one you ever tried? You never made it to your lemon pie? <laughs> I've never had any pies uh, there. That was my first pie experience at Whippy's, actually. Was, was the pie contest? Was the meat pie that I gorged myself on. Four and a half of them. Four and a half of the meat yeah. pies. And, and what time period? Like, uh, well, within an half hour. An hour. Within an hour. <laughs> yeah. But no, I think, didn't you do the mass of your consumption in like the first 30 minutes? I did. Well, and you know, again, I will say that I actually had dinner before I uh, went to this competition. Uh huh. And I did use a special technique of scooping the meat out of the pie. I thought it was a very good technique. And eating the crust with water, mm -hmm. which was really not quite how you're supposed to experience it, but... I think the crust was heavier than I expected it to it be. It was very heavy crust. Yeah. <laughs> this pie discussion brought to you by <laughs> Firefox. <laughs> Open source. <laughs> Stay on topic. Hey, you know what? This is kind of technological because 
Because there's a lot of, uh, you know, open source microblogging, and Wiffies is, uh, you know, big on Twitter, and so we can yeah. make it. Right, so shouldn't there be a wiki on the appropriate pie-eating, Wiffies pie-eating pie techniques? Champ. Yeah. It's called PyChamp. And is Chris Tom still the current PyChamp? Yes, Chris Tom is still the current pie champ. We had a Roman incident last night. We did. We, a, there was um, a strong, there was a strong running, uh, and then there was a Roman incident. So we don't like to talk about that. <laughs> Let's talk about something more pleasant. You have two rescued greyhounds. <laughs> it's more pleasant because he rescued them, not because they needed rescuing. They did. Well, they did need rescuing. Come pie. To, to rescue you don't fire them. foxes, maybe? You don't well, get there. If, if I fed the greyhounds pies, then, then they'd need to we'd be have rescued. another incident. Yeah. We don't want to do that. that but yes, I do good. have two rescued greyhounds. What are their names? Their name is Zeke mm-hmm. and Ula. Zeke and Ula. Very yes. They're very sturdy names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think Dr. <laughs> wants me to talk about something open sourcey. Um, do you have anything else open source related to discuss with me? To, are you putting it back on me? Mm-hmm. I thought you were supposed to ask all the questions. I did. I asked you a question. Do you have, <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything else open source? Wait a minute. I did this is, do you not? You watch the show. I know. You know I this is how it works. I know. Let's see. What other I open can't be held responsible for these things. You're what, what's, what talk are you most looking forward to seeing in the next two days? Uh, probably the visualization one that I already went to. That was that was good. And the keynote, actually, the keynote with, yeah. with Amper was what I was looking forward to. Is there anything tomorrow that you're looking forward to? You know, I haven't even planned out my day for tomorrow. Uh, you you know, should get one of these. I, I, I have one of those. But, yeah, you know why? Why plan ahead? But then I just can't. Put, I get to the page with with uh, me and Kelly and media chick on it, and I get all stumped. <laughs> what really? We that put is, that in there, and that is what? a great picture. Yes. We okay. were talking about that earlier, but yeah, well, that's probably all. All right. So again, we can find you PDX Mike K on Twitter. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for coming on, Mike. You're welcome. Thanks. See you soon. Thank you.